This kicks off our Six Sigma and TQM discussion comparison. What I try to do is list references. The ultimate Six Sigma, Beyond Quality and Excellence. That's the book I loaned you, and I hope you're going to feed it back next week with quantity if it's worth some more study. Yes, sir. And then I have three articles from the Quality Progress through the uh, ASQ on the power of positive quality curriculum and lean tools ensure accurate, concise communications. And then I have one reference there on Lean Six Sigma by Bruce Smith from Eli Lilly. And I note down at the bottom that those three articles can be gotten at www.qualityprogress.com. I'll get you copies of that. And then I have some more. I have Dynamic Exercise in Everyday Life. Part of the Six Sigma depends upon, one of the guys says lean, gets rid of the waste, Six Sigma takes care of the variation. Dimac is a problem solving funnel that's used a lot with Six Sigma. But I'm gonna give you an easy version of it. So make sure you understand it a little bit better. But it is a very powerful tool, so I'm going to use uh, a few slides from the Firefly Consulting Group at www.fireflyconsulting.com. Mary Peg Cooper, the first person I ran into with Lean, Kaizen's Kids Book. She has a lot of good stuff out there. She leads a lot of Kaizen events. Gimba Kaizen, a common sense approach to continuous improvement strategies, again by Masaki Hamaya and the birth of lean with conversations with Tokyono. Both Six Sigma and TQM were developed from the same common need following World War II. Need to revitalize our manufacturing base. Both Six Sigma and TQM are widely used in a variety of companies. Both are very good proven approaches to do what they are designed to do. What we want to do is discuss and compare what each are designed to do, how they achieve success, and if they're supportive of each other. And then we'll add in Lean Six Sigma and we'll go back through the process again. I've added in here, I just got that Ultimate Six Sigma book yesterday in the mail. I looked through it briefly, so I'm just adding it in here. Maybe we need to add, uh, consider in the future adding Ultimate Six Sigma in this discussion. What, are the, what is the common starting point? And I list Deming's 14 points here. Create constancy of purpose. I'm going to read them all to you. Cease mass inspection, constant group system and workers, instill leadership and supervisors, eliminate fear among employees, Eliminate slogans, institute vigorous training and education programs for the employees. And then something that we have talked about a little bit before, but we need to talk about some more, is the plan, do, check, act method, and how that's done, done in Deming's continuous improvement approach. Deming was the guy who went to Japan and they wouldn't let him come back. He's the one that had the 14 points, and a lot of the lean stuff is built around incorporating those 14 points. Here is a plan, do, check approach. Okay, up at the top, we have plan. Identify the problem, develop, and develop the plan for improvement. That's the plan part of PDCA. Do implement the plan on a test basis. Study or check. Some places it's PDSA. That's become more known as PD check A. We want to check, is the plan that we're implementing working? If it is, we institutionalize it, we standardize it, we incorporate it into our work. If it's not, then we have to go back and replan. So it's a continuous cycle. That's basically plan do check act. Now, what have we learned so far to help, that helps satisfy Deming's 14 points? Well, let's think back. We learned about the grand bargain. We learned about the coming at Kaizen Air. We learned about the Kaizen approach to continuous improvement. We learned about 5S, organize your space. 
We learned about visual management and all the, how that helps you. Remember standard pig exercise and yeah. having a pig? Yeah, that's just one example. Uh, value stream mapping, where we chopped that company down, Acme Manufacturing, from 23.6 days down to five. Paying and getting paid through that process. Mr. Lowry took us through the uh, total productive maintenance, standardized work, benefits of continuous flow, plan, do, check, act, proactive root cause problem solving, just in time, and this presentation, total quality management and Lean Six Sigma. Now, I submit to you that quality is free. Can I get you to buy that? Quality is free. Yes, no, no. arguments, examples. You all the time you have to pay for the quality. Okay, quality is free, come on. You buy that? I don't buy it. You don't buy it. How about Tim, does he buy it? The quality is free. I don't think I'm buying it either. Okay, see part of the problem is we think of higher levels of quality costs us more money. Right. Quality costs money. Right. Okay, so therefore, well, we can only afford so much quality here. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying quality is free. And I don't, buy, I don't get anybody to buy into that, yes? You're all shaking your heads, no. Okay. Quality is free, and here's why. The cost of quality for an average company is about 25% of total sales. That's repairing product. Or go behind the Wizard of Oz sheet and tweaking those marginally failing products to marginally passing so you can ship them. It's expensive. The cost of prevention is a fraction of the cost of fixing mistakes or defects after they're made. Preventing, preventing, Defect. yeah, mistake proof, Tokyo is well worth it. Investments in prevention can dr drastically reduce the total cost of quality. Now, am I starting to get a little bit more thought here? Yes, sir. You're thinking of quality in an abstract sense, I'm talking about quality in a very, yeah, a very real sense. Prevention is where we want to be, not cost. So now we're on board now? We're getting a few head shaking, yes? Yes, sir. Good. So you buy it now. Quality is free if you put it in this perspective. Okay. Now that we have here a list of things for Six Sigma. A vision and a philosophical uh, commitment to the customer to offer the highest quality, low-cost products. Sounds good, doesn't it? That's Six Sigma. A metric that demonstrates quality levels of 99.9997% performance for products and processes. Wow, that sounds really good. That's 3.4 failures per million operations or, or possibilities. And a benchmark against the best in class. That's pretty good. Okay, all TQM's got to offer is it encompasses entire organizations from supplier to customer. Stress is a commitment by management to have a continuing company-wide drive towards excellence in all aspects of the product and services that are important to the customer. TQM. This slide, we have a list of Six Sigma tools. Six Sigma's got a lot of tools. Process mapping, structure tree, Pareto analysis, gauge R&R, &R, rational subgrouping, baseline, tolerance analysis, component search, hypothesis testing, regression analysis, design of experiments, and statistical process control. Over here, we have TQM practices. Customer defined quality, top management leadership. Quality is a strategic issue. All employees responsible for quality. Continuous improvement benchmarking. Shared problem solving. Statistical quality control. 
training and education for all employees. So here we're stacking up the tools that distinguish Six Sigma from the practices that distinguish TQM. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a picture I got it from Firefly Consulting, and we're going to look at it, because a picture is worth a thousand words sometimes. Yes? Okay, and then I want you to help me or discuss between yourselves. I'm going to start the conversation with one simple little question. Is Six Sigma lean? So prepare, and draw on those things we talked about before. We'll see them again on how, what we've done to satisfy Deming's 14 steps. So here's, here we go. Here's a picture. This is a triangle. Uh, this is Motorola in the mid-1980s. Down here at the bottom of the triangle, the base of that triangle is green belts, black belts, and master black belts. That's the foundation for the triangle. We're moving from the bottom up to solve the problem. We go up through quality improvement and quality change management blocks, and we go up to a dynamic funnel. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay, and we end up with 3.4 ppm, parts per million. That was primarily the Motorola's approach, and they documented savings $16 billion. Not trivial, not trivial. I was on the periphery of that as a government support contractor. We won the Malcolm Baldridge Award, the original one, I believe, for quality. How does Six Sigma compare to Lean? Using what we learned to satisfy Deming's 14 points. We look at that triangle. Did you see anything about something like the Grand Bargainer? What was the Grand Bargain? Lifetime employment, paid by seniority, management, make sure that the employees are trained, all of them. Maintains a uh, environment to motivate them to participate. Do we see any of that there? And that uh, Six Sigma uh, triangle? How about, is a Kaisenier welcome there? Yes? No? Yes. I didn't see any Kaisenier in there. I saw belts. Yeah. I didn't see any Kaiseniers. Yeah, I didn't see any Kaiseniers in there. Kaizen, continuous improvements. Kaizen is the low-cost management approach to continuous improvement. Did you see all those tools I had to buy to run Six Sigma on, up there in that previous slide? Did you see anything about 5S, organize your space? I see a couple shaking heads. Did you see any visual management stuff there listed? In Six Sigma? Yeah. Value stream mapping. See any value stream mapping in that process? Was that any of the tools we had listed over there? No. Total productive maintenance. That's how we minimize breakdown, costly breakdown the maintenance, and we move the routine maintenance back over to the operators, right? Mm -hmm. You see that in here, in that triangle? How about standardized work? How about benefits of continuous flow? Do we see a tool in there for plan, do, check, act? Not in dimming, but in Six Sigma. Okay, proactive root cause problem solving. Yeah, some of those tools does that. Just in time. I don't know if they sign that or not. Total quality management, TQM? Six Sigma gets you at quality from a different perspective, but it's not like it's not like the TQM practices, is it? 